I want to. So I just want you to know, she's, she's most likely going to be winning one of the prizes. The they, rest of you are going to have to buy for the other one. I ones. want to state for the record, they lied to me specifically about her age. It's true. <laughs> specifically told me she was like 17, 18. I did. I to my face, and then she said, "Oh yeah." yeah. How old are you? So at the time, this was a. <laughs> This one's good. All right. Um, so this was at SoccerCon 2000. It was the very first SoccerCon before it was known as SoccerCon. And uh, to Chris's credit, um, I was dressed as Lena Inverse. I was wearing tall shoes, and I got invited to over 21 parties. So oh, he wouldn't have known we that I was. Where we uh, had <laughs> I was 13 at the time. Not a Kuricon. Or a Kuricon. It technically was a different con that sounds a lot like a Kuricon called Sajura Con. Yeah. So, anyways, um, at the time, I was 13, and uh, I was. Uh, I, this is how I met Chris, actually, was in the dating game. Uh, he chose me, and so uh, we hung out at the cosplay, and then later that night. Oh, oh, we met at the cosplay. Okay. Oh, no, that was a different year. Oh. That was a different story. Okay. So anyway, uh, later that night, uh, we were hanging out, me and my sister, who was uh, my guardian, and so she followed me and made sure I wasn't alone with him. Because he took me to the hotel room and sat on the bed with, hey, baby. He probably doesn't remember this. And then uh, drove me and my sister to Denny's at 2 o'clock in the morning. My parents were freaking out, wondering where I was. And while I was sitting on his lap at Denny's and he was giving me a back massage, as he tells the story, he had a little devil and a little angel sitting on his shoulders going, you should ask her how old she is. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> ask her how old she is. So he's like, so, how old are you? I'm like, 13? <laughs> Never the same again. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you did the same thing to me at a when it was play sketch. She was dressed up as one of the girls with sorcerer hunters. Yes. It was yes. very naughty, and they yes. told me, "Oh no, she's totally very gorgeous." <laughs> she was on my lap, and she was cold because she wasn't wearing anything. And then she was like, "Oh, and by the way, I'm like 13, 14, like." <laughs> Hey, hey, kids, go. Yeah. Uh, if you guys don't raise your hand, like, come up and get ready, because it's hard to remember. It's dark. Plus, we don't want to have you holding your hands up for, like, five minutes. Long. I'm actually going to build him up here for a second. Buttercup? Um, Amanda is my wife. I uh -huh. married her. I met her at Soccer Con in an elevator. So, it can happen. So, I know. A lot of elevators. So there she was. This nice man in an elevator. Oh, no. The elevator. Seems to be Here's slowing the thing. down. After this incident with Big Chris, this was a couple years later, I met her. Uh, we've been going out for a year or two. This was the second Komori Con at this point. I forget what costume you were wearing, but for some reason you had a about six foot tall piece of like two inch rebar as a prop. It weighed like 80 pounds, like boom. So, it was a, it was, to be fair, um, he keeps that and then two smaller pieces of rebar he, in his, room, yeah. in his uh, house. Uh, I see in them bed. in his bedroom. And I a small rebar is usually when he sleeps under. <laughs> and he wields his rebar. Yeah, what do you, yeah, what do, you, do, you do, do with rebar? I mean, yeah, it's, it's scary. All right, all right. So, okay. So here's, here's the thing. is um, There was another gentleman who also wanted her um, affection, who we will not speak of. But uh, he thought I was moving a little too slow here. He decided to come over me, come over to me with this piece of rebar. Boom! Let's take a walk. <laughs> Young takes me to the side. He's going, you know, that's a real nice girl there. Basically, gave me the uh, big brother blessing, and also the um, you hurt her, I will end you. <laughs> So after finding out she was 13, he then became her protector and brother uh, okay. till now. After, after, there was a point in time where, yeah, never mind. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, no, my core. There may have been a skittic the first Gamori Con where he did kind of carry Amanda off stage on his shoulder. <laughs> There, there may have been a reference to the Sword of Eos. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 yeah! 
All right, and just so all of you know, uh, my sister and I have been going to SoccerCon since 2000, and we were both of age at the time. Yes! <laughs> oh, finally we have one who was of age. <laughs> Sean and I, you know, we always room together, and we always, well, almost always room. You're twins, are you? Oh, no. Okay, it's the other girls. We <laughs> almost always you been room in the hotel that the con is in, of course. It's just easier. And, well, for quite a while, we always got strange knocks on our door, and there was a big black guy at our door. <laughs> Black Gee, I wonder who that could have been. But it, it's just like at strange times, this, we'd get these knocks on the door and we'd be like, what is that? Open it up and there's Chris. For no apparent reason. Well, a few years back, for again, no apparent reason, we get this knock on our door and again, there's Chris in a schoolgirl outfit. <laughs> and he looks at us and goes, do you have a girdle? And we're all looking at him, and first off, we're thinking, no. And second, we're thinking, if we did, would it fit you? <laughs> and he's just like, oh, well, you know, I was just hoping. And like, closes the door and leaves. <laughs> this is not the first time that multiple, the, the, like, in every Sakuracon, there was a couple of times where we, all of us were like, Let's just go knock on everyone's door and see what happens. <laughs> I was going to say, how many, how many times did you ask for a girdle? How many times did you ask for a box? What <laughs> I got a quick story real quick about this. Um, one of the kind of honorary members of Bakazoko, we called him Snuggleby, and we're not going to get into that stuff. But um, he wakes up, you know, and he tells me and Jeremiah, because he's a newbie to the con, he's all, Hey guys, when's breakfast? <laughs> We look at each other and started laughing our butts off because we know at cons you don't really get to So he goes back. Chris! Snugglebees goes back to sleep. Chris comes walking in the room. He's never met Chris. He goes, what's this guy doing? He's like, sleeping? Uh-uh. Chris crawls up on the bed on all oh, fours yeah. over this guy he's never met. You know, in the Akuma costume, starts jumping up and down there. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. So he wakes up the big Chris in his face and went, oh my god! I think I later on showed up in that room and I like started almost licking Snugglebee's uh, forehead. That's when you threw the doll at him and he grabbed it. Was... Yeah, and that's how he got the name Snugglebee. <laughs> but yeah, a big black man just appears over you as you're sleeping, jumping up and down and yelling, come on, come on, come on. me of those four years I had in San Quentin. <laughs> so I'd like to tell the story of how Chris met Alex. Alex, exhibit A. <laughs> Alex, how old were you? We met Alex on, at the first Komori Con. She was 14 at the time. She looked pretty much like that. So, we'd seen her around. She was wearing a dark chi costume from Chobits. Um, and what she had done was, you know how those deep cleavage dresses, people always have trouble like actually getting cleavage as opposed to having your boobs fall out the middle? Well, what she had done, she had put a triangle of clear vinyl down the cleavage, so wow. it, nothing was spilling out, and there was, there were boobs there. There were definitely boobs. Ample Her time. skit involved uh, Chi's wake-up routine, going Jumping to school. As you may remember, Chi does calisthenics in the morning. So Alex is on stage in this busty dress, ruffly skirt, doing jumping jacks. And Chris and I were basically about like a three feet away going, hey, and, what's this kid about? Oh. And as she goes to school, she gets accosted for I have no idea why. The uh, other person in her skit was her mother. Uh, who has so approved of this, by the way. Who, who wrote part of the script. Who rips off her skirt. She had a tearaway skirt on her costume. So there she is in the... The vinyl V cleavage and the uh, underskirt, which is even shorter, yeah. um, running around on stage. Um, so when we see, <laughs> it was totally awesome. Uh, so when when we see Alex after the uh, the uh, contest, she we is. think she's awesome because she had a really good costume and we're all uh, sitting around on some chairs. She, but there's not enough <laughs> chairs left. There's not enough chairs. Where does the cute new girl sit? Yeah, so. So, cute new girl needs a seat. 
Chris, of course, ever the gentleman, offers his own lap. <laughs> to, to the very physically mature lady who happens to mention her age at one point. Okay, this you... was when we learned that Chris has a special power. He can teleport away from jail. <laughs> so, so you guys have seen like old cartoons where like there's that puff of smoke where Buzz, Buzz Bunny was so, for a second and oh, then like gravity hits. So, she, so sat, she was in Chris, the air for a second, and then suddenly, go. <laughs> and by that second, Chris was already across the room. <laughs> he was outside and just like, well, uh, no, officer, I'm not quite sure. Uh, he went that way, that's all. Anyone else? Anyone else? Because that's your second time. Anyone else? Yeah, anyone else? Anyone else? I think I time to one more.